hi guys welcome back today is sunday we are getting into spring sun is out and venus is looking fire okay <laughs> it looks so beautiful outside uh, but today i just wanted to sit down a little bit and do some q a i just got back from church now i actually want to get out you know go for a walk or something so that is let's do a q a first let me let me give my people something first okay then i'm gonna go outside okay i'm gonna go enjoy the sun all right a couple of q a's today which we're gonna be diving right into so i'm not gonna be wasting any time let's just start getting right into it okay How are you guys doing today? How are you doing where you are watching me from? Comment in the comment section, where are you watching me from right now? It's a few weeks back, just asking where people watching me from. I was quite surprised actually, that so many of you watching me from different countries. So comment right now in the comment section, where are you watching this video? from before i start this q a i was going through to just find the questions i did post in my community tab asking you guys for questions and really when i was going through as well through my comments to see questions that i've not answered i was quite impressed by how much so many of you actually replied to messages so thank you to everyone if you've actually ever replied to anyone to uh, like on any comment uh, to answer the question that the person had i just want to say thank you like you are the real mvp okay you are the real mvp so you are amazing thank you so much i did absolutely get repeated questions so what i would really recommend in this case people asking these repeated questions are not uh steady on this channel but please watch more recent q and a's that i've made before you ask questions because most of the time i already answered that question okay. let's get right into the q and a shall we let's let's do that let's do that all right so it looks like the sun is going down a bit should i bring my light guys this is not what i was expecting give me a second all right guys i think we are back in business first question the first question is what is the required proof of funds for master's study visa guys we are applying for a master's study visa most of the masters we have in lithuania are either one and a half year or two years so you need to have at least the minimum wage for the years that your studies would be i would recommend around anything between five thousand to ten thousand euros would be your go-to funds to have in your account kindness thanks for the video please can i move with my family uh to lithuania once i have my once i get my studies this question i've seen it one million times so i think it's very very important that i address it here all right so if you're getting a job what i will tell you is once you get your studies once you get your admission if you're bringing your family right to lithuania and you're studying how can you show that this person can depend on you because that person literally will be depending on you to feed to pay for the rent and everything so how are you gonna tell lithuania that you have enough funds to do that so that's what you need to think about so basically it could be that you come first of all come to lithuania start your studies get a job then you can bring your family can i move to lithuania on a tourist visa and change to work permit guys i've answered the question in every q and a every q and a guys i do not recommend this at all because it might be very easy for you to get a job and then it might not be easy for the other person to get a job so there is no one size fits all here is what i will tell you start to make your application before you arrive in lithuania look for jobs before you get to lithuania so that when you get to lithuania you have an interview and get into working not to come to lithuania and start looking for a job it's not that easy to get a job for you to even get a job as quickly as possible most of the company want you to already have a permit right before they can give you a job so guys please i do not recommend this look for a job from wherever you're coming from or have your interview and then get on with it i'm not gonna answer this question again unless something changes in lithuania about it so if you ask me this question again please tell uh, every other person if you see somebody asking it tell them what i said i do not recommend it i'll tell you this get your job ready first before you come to lithuania do you have an agency that can find job for people and the answer is i do not have an agency i do not own an agency that uh, helps people with getting a job however in my recent videos about jobs that i've made which i'm gonna link right now in the description please check it out you will see some of the agencies that i mentioned there's uh, alliance for recruitment for example and there are a couple of other ones that do have uh, affiliation with affiliation with companies and they're hiring foreigners to come to lithuania and if you're watching me from lithuania and you are part of this company could you partner with your girl so that we can do this thing together so they can bring the right qualified people to lithuania how about that how do i apply to for a study visa since there is no embassy in nigeria guys if there's no embassy in nigeria please go to the nearest embassy nearest lithuanian embassy to your country or go to vfs so vfs 
obviously i know that not all vfs are collecting uh, application for lithuania for example we don't have vfs in lithuania now and i had as well the vfs in jordan and lebanon lithuania have closed them as well so this is actually how you can apply please go to the country nearest to you uh to make the application that's just what it is at the moment and i'm so sorry because i know that it's difficult for most of you now but it's just what we have to deal with right now i have got a mediation letter from venus university for a bachelor in international business thanks for the informative video what advice would you give me I really like this question what advice would i give you if you're coming to lithuania um i would say be yourself truly be yourself be yourself <laughs> be yourself okay i have a video about 12 things i wish i knew about lithuania i'm gonna link it in the description box as well watch that video i think one thing i'll tell you just be yourself if you like to dance whatever you like to do just be that person and i would say reflect early i have a re recent video that i made about uh how i came to lithuania and i think one thing is that i didn't start to reflect on time about my time here in lithuania i'll tell you to reflect earlier and maybe that will help you make decisions quicker make decisions about how you are living are you living okay do you need to change anything about how you are living in, in the in, in the country and i would say as well know what you want if you if you came here for studies then actually pursue that studies and finish it if you want to if you're coming for uh if you if you're gonna get a job afterwards then make sure that you have you set yourself up to actually get a job don't wait till the end of your study to start looking for a job i have a couple of videos that i made about that another thing i would say is be mindful of the people that you surround yourself with because you might find people that would always for example always have negative things to say about where you are living but you are here for a reason right so always remember that reason and if people around you are always saying negative things yes there might be negative things happening but saying negative things does not bring any solution so just surround yourself with the right people surround yourself with people that have information and continue watching the video for the continue watching my video and my videos and also other people that are talking about lithuania who are genuinely talking about lithuania to learn from them learn what you do what not to do in the, in the country but i uh, yeah and enjoy your time in lithuania enjoy your time and and, uh, all the best congratulations congratulations on your studies and all the best in lithuania all right so my next one is i learned jordan and lebanon are no longer on the list of countries to go for trp please which other countries can we go to or can you send us a link here uh, i think i already answered this question before so please check the description box or look at the picture to see all the countries that you can go to to apply for your visa for lithuania good day kindness i applied to lithuania but they rejected my application and said i should legalize my police character certificate and reapply again <sighs> guys this is the issue right now this is like an ongoing ongoing issue that i know that all of you are writing me about kindness uh police character certificate lithuania wants us to legalize it and what that basically means is that they need you to legalize it in your embassy here and then take it to the ministry of foreign affairs in lithuania so there's a double legalization legalization process ongoing and i know that this can be very stressful some of you have reached out to me if i can do it and the truth is that i do not have the possibility to, to do that so what i can tell you is you can uh, send it via dhl send it via dhl apply on the website like apply to tell them that you want to submit a document when you apply to submit like you want to legalize your document they will tell you how are you coming so you can say i'm sending it via dhl they will legalize it and send it back to you i know that that's additional funds ongoing but that's just the way right now another option is join yourself to the africans in lithuania group or join yourself to your community for example indians in lithuania or arabians in lithuania so join those groups and somebody there who might be there might be somebody there who might be able to help you with that but i would say guys be careful Pro, the safest one i actually recommend is use dhl to send it to them they will legalize it and send it back to you you have your documents and nothing happens to your document uh but yeah that's basically what i would say about that one kindness how do i find a job in lithuania this person is new is that not true is this person not new to this channel please i have so many videos about how to get a job in lithuania like i don't even think that I should be getting this question at all so guys if something I'm, if, I, if i've been sharing this video and you guys are not understanding what i've been sharing in the past i need to know because somebody that is on this channel that has watched like two of my videos cannot be asking me this question so guys please check all the links in the description box there is a list of all the websites that you can get a job in lithuania so please start applying that's how you get a job you get a job in lithuania you apply you get a job the company uh, processes the application for you like your 
your permit they give you a mediation letter you apply you get your residence permit then you come to lithuania to start working that's basically how you get a job and move to lithuania okay i have been admitted into a master's program starting september 2024 is it possible for me to come along with my family by september do i have to complete my studies before bringing my family i think i already answered this question in the beginning basically there is a timeline for people to be able to bring their family and again you need to show that you actually can sustain your family because if you're studying you're not working how are you gonna sustain your family so that might put your family at risk to even getting a visa to come to Lithuania, so I would say focus on getting a job and then you'll be able to make application for your family to join you. Hello, Mrs. Kindness. Hello. <laughs> I really appreciate your efforts to set up your videos. Please, what is the requirement to apply for Lithuania visa? I'm a skilled worker. I work as a forklift operator back here in my country. Please, I'm waiting for a reply. All the requirements would differ depending on the job. So please check all the websites on how to get a job uh, like webs check all the websites where you can get a job in lithuania because the requirements will be on job basis so it depends on the job that you apply for that's what the requirement would be applying for a um, truck driver it will be different from someone applying for a technician right so it depends on the job so please go to the websites that are in the description box apply when you're applying you will see the list of the job in the job description and see if you meet the requirements and then you can go ahead to apply i have a simple question please i want to get to lithuania using shortage job listed first then switch to an it job i want to know the red flag to watch out for plus is this method advisable thank you my dear you already said that you're in it field i think that is more suitable is it's gonna be more easier much more easier for you to get a job in it than to move to lithuania on the shortage job. and again the shortage job list also the it jobs there already so i would say just apply for jobs that you are qualified for right now instead of applying for maybe like a job that's you have no experience in or you're not interested in if you're in the it field then apply for jobs that are in your field and you're more likely to get uh, hired quicker than trying to go to another route you also mentioned something here that i want to address is i want to know the red flag to watch out for some of the red flags would absolutely be checking your contract to so make sure that that contract is legit make sure that the employer is legit an ongoing case right now of employers trying to uh, rip off their employees who are foreigners obviously they don't know what rights they have so i would say check how that employer is talking to you like ask them difficult questions don't just say because i'm looking for a job anything that comes i will eat it mm -mm don't do that yeah be mindful of the employers be mindful read your contract so you know what is in your contract before you sign it and uh, that's what i would advise for that one thank you so much for all the information that you provide i want to relocate to lithuania with my husband and daughter this year my question is can i get a school around 2000 or less for art and commercial master's course and can i get one-on-one -on -one with you please i've watched most of your videos i still won't i still won't mind a guide through on the process of relocation till my family arrives there all right so i think i already answered most of the question about can you move with your family your question as well is can i get a school around 2000 euros uh, right now in lithuania i do not know that you can get a school around 2000 euros for a year maybe per semester advice you please go to studyin.lt find all the schools studyin.lt is such an easy website to use so guys i say study in in all my videos is there any video i've not said study in i don't think so so please go to study in.lt and see what is the cost that you want to apply for and what is the fee for that your second question is can you get one-on-one -on -one with me please you want to have consultation guys i did post earlier on about consultation but all the time that you guys have contacted me and you i said oh yeah let's have consultation because it's not gonna be free right most of you just backed out so i've never had any consultation with all any of you so if you want consultation just send me an email i have my email in my in my on my channel just send me an email say that you want consultation and we can have a meeting but all the information i provide here i already know that you know that is absolutely more than enough but if you want to have one-on-one -on -one, i will try my best to make myself available to have that one-on-one -on -one. but it's not it's gonna be paid guys you don't want to pay if you don't want to pay then like yeah i don't know okay next question all right please i am from nigeria i'm presently in nigeria i wish to apply for a visiting visa to lithuania please go to the nearest vfs or lithuanian embassy closest to you and you'll be able to apply for the visa if you want to know what documents are, are 
that you need to provide also go to the website of that country website of that embassy or vfs that you are going to and they will tell you on there you will find all the requirements that you need to apply for visiting visa the basic is still the same your job proof of funds passport travel documents all those kind of things how can you be of help to me in aspect of documents required proof of funds and other vital information to avoid visa rejection so this question probably ties into the previous one so in order for you to make sure you don't get your visa rejected make sure that you go through the website that you are going to so if you're going to for example vfs in in abu dhabi check the requirements for their visa application in abu dhabi okay so ensure that you rip that up but the most basic things are what is your proof since you're applying for visit or visa right if you're applying for visit or visa uh most things that will get you not to to be rejected is having enough proof of funds in your account have enough evidence to show that you're gonna come back to your country where you are coming from have information for example maybe show them that you have a job like a proof that you have a tie like you have ties with your home country uh, provide proof that you are sufficient you know funded well provide proof that you know you have a reason for going to like visiting lithuania and i think that would make your visa uh, process legit please can you help us revisit your videos about renting apartments in lithuania cost of living transportation as of current uh year thanks dear in a summarized version please <laughs> so uh, i think when it comes to the websites nothing has changed much from the video that i made about renting apartments in lithuania the only thing that that probably changed so much is the money like the rent prices in lithuania is not the same as when i made that video like before you could find apartments for like 300 euros now no most of apartments literally like the basic apartments are ranging between 450 like the minimum Something that has grown a lot in the past couple of years is shared apartments. So that's so probably something that you would see that can you can pay like 300 euros for. So you, we have those options now, which is good for people that want to still live, uh, not live in the dormitory, for example, or people that are working and they can pay and have a shared apartment. So, but I think that's the most thing that I've changed. The prices of things in Lithuania, prices of houses is absolutely off the roof right now, especially for Vilnius, especially for Vilnius. If you're living in, for example, Klaipeda or Kaunas, it's a bit um, toned down. They still have an average, which is not the same as it was before, but I'm referring to Vilnius now. The prices of houses is not a joke anymore in this country. So that's one thing that has changed a lot about that and um transportation transportation is still the same which is which is quite uh, impressive so shout out to lithuania shout out to lithuania that's amazing because as i moved to lithuania i think the bus price has only increased not even up to a euro so the price bus price is still uh under six euros for students and then 30 euros for people that are working in lithuania so for a month and this is for a month so nothing has changed about that obviously if you're traveling outside of lithuania maybe using trains going to other countries then that's a different fee but if you're in lithuania if, if you're a student actually you do have 50 percent off for your transportation and if you're working it's pretty much the same the train has the train prices increased a little bit the main thing that has changed that has changed since then is the prices of the things okay all right moving on to the next question um uh, uh, wait can you please tell me one thing an international student can work 40 hour a week in lithuania who will then study bachelors <laughs> yeah i definitely feel you you know the thing yeah if you're a bachelor student so in lithuania master students can work a phd students can work B bachelor students can also work what happens is if you're a bachelor student even though you can work like full-time now most companies will not hire you for full-time okay if they know that you're doing bachelors and obviously they would know because you have to tell them that you're doing bachelor so they will not hire they don't hire bachelor students they mostly go for students that are master students because master students have their studies in the evening so you would find that most bachelor students anyway cannot get a full-time job they have to get jobs maybe or less the shift of the job is on the other side so maybe the job they have evening shifts because bachelor students in lithuania their studies are from evening and uh, from morning to evening time thank you so much kindness how can i move to lithuania please help i have already shared so many videos about how you can move to lithuania i'm gonna link some here so please check them out and they will be absolutely absolutely helpful can one get management jobs from abroad 
it depends like what management level are you on i think you can get absolutely so if you can present yourself that you are qualified it might be a bit tricky but i don't know the level of um skill that you have when it comes to management jobs but if you see check the website about applying for job. if you see apply right apply and you, you never know right just make sure you present yourself that you have enough skill that will make them hire you but i don't think that is absolutely impossible hi madam <laughs> yes is there a job visa is there a ban i think this question is a bit complicated but i think the question is hey madam is there a ban to move to is there a ban on indian job visa I have not heard of any ban on on India to move to Lithuania, so just make sure that you are uh, uh, checking the right, right websites and you can apply from anywhere in the world to be able to move to Lithuania. So there is no ban on India, or just make sure that you apply through the right websites. through an agent this fee is not including plane tickets and embassy fee i am a professional in middle east but based on lithuania criteria my experience is unskilled oh my goodness 3500 guys this this agent this is actually why i make these videos that i make guys i make these videos because i want you to be able to do this process yourself if you truly watch my videos i know that you can do any process yourself you can come to university by yourself you can get a job by yourself you don't need any agent truly you don't need any agent unless there's like an additional task but that they need to do for you so i know that you can do these things yourself paying somebody 3500 euro for visa fee please do not do it do not do it it's not even worth it and how can you guarantee that this person will help you remember they're not even they're not the ones that would get a job for you they're not the ones that will guarantee that you get a job they are just the one putting the document forward so i know that sometimes it's very very tricky but if you cannot do it yourself uh, you can book a consultation with me and we can go through the documents yourself please do not pay this amount that's just what i'm gonna say it's quite a lot for you to make application to not even know and you said that you're professional in the middle east so i'll ask you what is your profession in the middle east maybe look at the skills that you already have right now in the middle east and see what jobs in lithuania that we call professional jobs and maybe uh, do your cv in such a way that you can present your skills that you have right now as a skilled person and get a job that is in your field okay because it looks like you might actually be qualified for certain jobs so don't sell yourself short if that's what is the case but don't either don't pay two three thousand five hundred euro for agency agency fee you can actually do your own application or check some of the links in my description box you see check alliance for recruitment because they might be helping people get at their jobs in lithuania but don't pay anybody this amount truly don't pay this amount it's quite ridiculous that somebody is asking you for this amount to be able to do to be able to just put down your documents yeah i hope this helps you i hope this helps all of you watching this video guys thank you so much for watching this video like i said i just wanted to sit down and make a q a video today is sunday and yeah let me know if you have any more questions please continue to help others who ask questions in the comment section so that you know we can all support each other and please comment don't forget to tell me where you are watching me from thank you guys so much for watching i did enjoy answering some of your questions i wish you a wonderful day wonderful week wonderful evening wherever you're watching from and i'll see you in my next video goodbye guys take care